While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting and Okay, you guys and girls know me. I don't do unboxing videos, but uh, this is about the only way I can show you Ranzo. Um, because a lot of y'all have probably not seen it. A lot of y'all um, are probably ground guys like me. But unlike me, you're just getting into the boats perhaps. Or maybe you're thinking about it or maybe you haven't thought about it. And this is going to get you into the boats. Um, so this is the top of the box. This is uh, a Graupner model. Uh, she is a thousand millimeters or roughly 39 inches in length. We'll get you a little bit of a close-up of this one here. That is basically what her deck will look like when she's done. How yeah, it's kind of a, a bit of a, a mess. This is this is kind of sort of my dining room table. But, and Ranzau gets this end of the table. <laughs> so, welcome to my dining room. Uh, good thing I'm a single guy, right? And... Uh, yeah, because there's there probably isn't a woman alive besides Tams who would let me get away with this. Anyway, uh, this is all there is to the hull. It is uh, ABS plastic. Okay, it's not fiberglass. Uh, there is the bow thruster. I am considering. Uh, I'll have to see how David feels about it. But I'm considering putting a bilge pump into her. She is twin screwed. These are Graupner motors. So I don't know, unfortunately, what the uh, turns are on them for you. I do know that they're 5 millimeter output shaft, uh, 5 millimeter uh, prop shafts. So it's just going to need a simple dog leg to attach them there. And of course, all of this framing is balsa. Now, the decking material itself, um, pardon my paperwork with holding on the drawings, but the decking itself, not a lot of strength in it. It's, it's beautiful stuff, like it's going to stain up beautifully, yeah? Um, I'll move the paper some so you can kind of get a look at it. But there's the decking material there. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Like, in this case, I mean... Graupner sends some top-of-the-line um, mahogany veneer, actually, for the deck on the model. Problem is, it is just that. It's veneer. So this is going to be decked in a veneer. It's not got a whole lot of strength. So, that being said, I have... Pardon my reach and all that. Oh, I grabbed the wrong piece. Excuse me just a minute, guys and girls. I have stuff like this. Now, it is basically Sitka spruce. Actually, I got it from when my pop made his airplane, a Starduster 1, in our garage when I was a kid. And I got lucky. I got the remnants of it when he passed away. And so I'm thinking of putting down... A sheet uh, well it'll be back here actually but I'm thinking of putting down a layer of Sitka spruce along here and reinforcing it slightly underneath then with the mahogany veneer decking over top and then mounting a balsa wood unit so in effect I would be carving not only the arm this piece here I will also be carving out this housing unit and my point to doing that this is it from a different view okay so my point to doing that is gaining a whole shit load more strength in the crane you know, as you can see from the model photo that's what the crane is going to end up looking like so what I'm thinking of doing is putting the Sitka spruce underneath this, reinforcing this inside with more Sitka spruce, and then mounting a basswood assembly here, okay? And that's going to allow us to pick up a whole bunch more weight. And that way, if David wants to use it for purposes other than just 
handling the boys, he can do so because he's going to have a crane capable of doing it. But this is where I am to date. I am just getting ready to glue the frame to the hull. So uh, I, the boat actually does not use the paint scheme that's on the box. It's not shown in any video I could find. The paint scheme is always somewhat different. So, and there is another paint scheme out there with uh, a lot more yellow in it that looks really sexy. I really like the way the yellow makes the, makes the hull pop. It's just completely sexy. Really makes the boat just stand out from any other one, hey? So that's what I'm going to do for a paint job. David's agreed. He's seen the photos. He loves it. I love it. It's going to be a sexy boat. Anyway, um, so I'm getting ready to glue the frame into the hull. We will get the, uh, the few extensions done on to her. Then we can get on to laying the decking and all that good stuff. After I sort out the crane difficulties I'm having, I will get it sorted out. We'll get her built and uh, we'll get moving on with Ranzo. So that's about it for this one, guys and girls. While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires